चैप्टर नाइन पब्लिक फैसिलिटीज वाटर एंड द पीपल ऑफ चेन्नई सीनियर गवर्नमेंट ऑफिशियल्स लाइक मिस्टर राम गोपाल लिव इन अन्ना नगर चेन्नई दिस एरिया लुक्स लस एंड क्लीन विथ लॉन्स मेंटेन बाय अ जनरस स्प्रिंग ऑफ वाटर बंगलोज हेयर हैव टैप वाटर फॉर मेजर पार्ट ऑफ द डे ऑन डेज वेन द वाटर सप्लाईज इन एडिकेट मिस्टर राम गोपाल स्पीक्स to a senior official whom he knows in the municipal water board and the water tanker is easily arranged for his house like most areas of the city subramaniam apartments in mailapur suffers from water shortage this area gets municipal water once in two days a private bore well meets some of the residents water needs bore well water is however precarious so the residents use it in their toilets and for washing for other uses Water is purchased from tankers. Subramaniam spends up to rupees five hundred to six hundred per month on buying water from the tankers. For drinking water, residents have installed water purification system in their homes. Shiva lives on rent on the first floor of a house in Madhi Pakkam and gets water once in four days. Shortage of water is one major reason why Shiva can't bring his family to Chennai. For drinking, Shiva buys bottled water. Padma works as domestic help in Saidapet and lives in the nearby slum. She pays a rent of rupees six fifty for the hutment, which has neither a bathroom nor a tap connection. For thirty such hutments, there is a common tap at one corner in which water comes from a borewell for twenty minutes twice daily. A family gets to fill a maximum of three buckets within this time. The same water is used for washing and drinking in summer the flow becomes a trickle so that one family gets water only at the cost of another people have to wait long hours for water tankers water as part of the fundamental right to life water is essential for life and for good health not only it is necessary for us to be able to meet our daily needs but safe drinking water can prevent many water related diseases India has one of the largest number of cases of diseases such as diarrhea dysentery cholera over 600 Indians most of them children below the age of 5 reportedly die every day because of water related diseases these deaths can be prevented if people have access to safe drinking water the constitution of india recognizes the right to water as being a part of the right to life under article 21 this means that it is the right of every person whether rich or poor to have sufficient amount of water to fulfill his or her daily needs at a price that he or she can afford in other words there should be universal access to water There have been several court cases in which both the high courts and the supreme courts have held that the right to safe drinking water is a fundamental right. In 2007, the Andhra Pradesh High Court restated this while hearing a case based on a letter written by a villager of Mahbub Nagar district on the contamination of drinking water. The villager's complaint was that a textile company was discharging poisonous chemicals into a stream near his village. contaminating ground water which was the source for irrigation and drinking water the judges directed the mahbub nagar district collector to supply 25 liters of water to each person in village public facilities like water there are other essential facilities that needs to provided for everyone last year you read about two other such facilities health care and sanitation Similarly there are things like electricity public transport schools and colleges that are also necessary these are known as public facilities the important characteristics of a public facility is that once it is provided its benefit can be shared by many people for instance a school in the village will enable many children to get educated similarly the supply of electricity to an area can be useful for many people farmers can run concerts to irrigate their fields People can open small workshops that run on electricity. Students will find it easier to study, and most people in the village will benefit in some way or the other. The government's role, given that public facilities are so important, someone must carry the responsibility of providing these to the people. 
this someone is the government one of the most important functions of the government is to ensure that these public facilities are made available to everyone let us try and understand why the government and the only government must bear this responsibility we have seen that private companies operate for profit in the market you read about this in the chapter on the story of assert in your class 7th book in most of the public facilities there is no profit to be had for example what profit can accrue to a company for keeping the trains clean or running an anti malaria campaign a private company will probably not be interested in undertaking such work but for other public facilities such as schools and hospitals private companies may well be interested we have many of these particularly in large cities similarly if you are living in a city you will have seen private companies supplying water through tankers or supplying drinking water in sealed bottles in such cases private companies provide public facilities but at a price that only some people can afford hence this facility is not available to all at an affordable rate if we go by the rule that people will get as much as they can pay for then many people who cannot afford to pay for such facilities will be deprived of opportunity to live a decent life clearly this is not a desirable option public facilities relate to people's basic needs any modern society requires that these facilities are provided so that people's basic needs are met the right to life that the constitution guarantees is for all persons living in this country the responsibility to provide public facilities therefore must be that of the government water supply to chennai is it available to all while there is no doubt that public facilities should be made available to all in reality we see that there is a great shortage of such facilities in the rest of this chapter we will read about the provision of water which as we have seen is a public facility of great importance water supply in chennai as we saw at the beginning of the chapter is marked by shortages in municipal supply meets only about half the needs of the people of the city on an average there are areas which get water more regularly than others those areas that are close to the storage point get more water whereas colonies further away receive less water the burden of shortfall in water supply falls mostly on the poor the middle class when faced with water shortages are able to cope through a variety of private means such as digging bore wells buying water from tankers and using bottled water for drinking apart from the availability of water access to safe drinking water is also available to some and this depends on what one can afford once again the wealthy have more choices thanks to the booming market in bottled water and water purifier people who can afford it have safe drinking water whereas the people are again left out in the reality Therefore it seems that it is only people with money who have the right to water a far cry from the goal of universal access to sufficient and safe water in search of alternatives the situation in chennai is not unique a similar scenario of shortages and acute crisis during the summer months in common to other cities as well the shortage in municipal water is increasingly being filled by an expansion of private companies who are selling water profit also common are the great inequalities in water use the supply of water water per person in urban areas is india should be about 135 liter per day about 7 buckets a standard set by the urban water commission where as people in slums have to make do with less than 20 liters a day per person people living in luxury hotels may consume as much as 1600 liters 80 buckets of water per day the shortage of municipal water is often taken as a sign of failure of the government some people argue that since the government is unable to supply the amount of water that is needed and many of the municipal water departments are running at a loss we should allow private companies to take over the task of water supply according to them private companies can perform better consider the following facts throughout the world water supply is a function of the government there are very few instances of private water supply second there are areas in the world where public water supply has achieved universal access third in a few cases where the responsibility for water supply was handed over to private companies there was a steep rise in the price of water making it unaffordable for many cities saw huge protests with riots breaking out in places like bolivia forcing the government to take back the service from private hands fourth 
Within in India, there are cases of success in government water departments. Through these are few in numbers and limited to certain areas of their work. The water supply department in Mumbai raises enough money through water charges to cover its expenses on supplying water. In Hyderabad, a report shows that the department has increased coverage and improved performance in revenue collection. In Chennai, the department has taken several initiatives for harvesting rainwater to increase the level of the groundwater. It has also used the services of private companies for transporting and distributing water but the government water supply department decides the rate for water tankers and gives them permission to operate, hence they are called on contract. Conclusion Public facilities related to our basic needs and the Indian constitution recognizes the right to water health, education, etc. as being a part of the right to life. Thus, one of the major roles of the government is to ensure adequate public facilities for everyone. But progress on this front has been far from satisfactory. There is a shortage in supply and there are inequalities in distribution. Compared to the metros and large cities, towns and villages are under-provided. Compared to wealthy localities, the poorer facilities are under-serviced. Handing over these facilities to private companies may not be the answer. Any solution needs to take account of the important fact that every citizen of the country has a right to these facilities, which should be provided to her or him in an equitable manner.